Hey everyone, this is Jennifer. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at some cloth and paper um, stationary products, specifically their um, sticky notes. One of the things that I wanted to do as we move into 2023 is if I have any purchases made, like this cloth and paper order, is to kind of talk to you about um, the process behind that and um, what I already have in my stash and the purpose for the products instead of just doing an unboxing and saying, look, here's this lovely product. I did want to talk about um, storage and how I'm going to be using the products as well. So um, this is going to be a common theme for my 2023 videos. I did a major overhaul of my craft room and before I placed this order, I did go through my sticky note collection that I have at home. This is all of it. So this little pouch has some sticky notes in it that I keep in my tote bag and then this little clear container from I think the Dollar Tree holds some of my other post-it notes. So I had this stuff out, went to the cloth and paper website and decided um, which products I needed um, to replenish or products that I wanted to try so that I wasn't purchasing something again, which to be honest, I've done in the past. So um, trying to be intentional with my purchases. So these were products that I thought that I needed um, just to improve the function of my planning or planner system for the new year. So it does come in this CP um, linen bag. And then I will get all of these organized. We will take a look at each of them. I did pick up some writing utensils. So I'm going to set those off to the side because anytime I have writing things, pens, pencils, what have you, I like to do a pen test. So we'll do that at the end. Um, this first product are the Spotlight Page Flags in their palette 5. And I have used these in the past and I actually used them all up. So I wanted to reorder those. I just use them in my traveler's notebook to mark um, different pages off. And I also use them in my work planner. This next one is just a three by three sticky note, um, 50 sheets, matte paper, a little bit more off white. Let me see if I can grab, here's a plain white. These are in a little bit of a different color and they do say reminder with two date and message. So I'll zoom in on that so you can take a close look at that. The next item are these arched sticky notes. They're a little bit larger. Again, 50 sheets matte paper. They are in the Angora colorway and they measure in at 2.75 by 3.77 inches. Again, I'll zoom in for you guys so you can take a close look. They're just an arched sticky note. The adhesive is on the top arched part and it does have the cloth and paper logo at the bottom. Next up, we have the daily meal plan. And I wanted these because I don't have a spot in my current setup, um, like a whole insert dedicated to meal planning at this point. Um, I want to do better in 2023. A lot of my personal um, financial situation, I guess, is that I spend a lot of money on takeout food, at least more than I would like to. So I want to do better about um, some meal planning, and I thought this would be a quick, easy way to just kind of take it one day at a time. And it looks like I accidentally ordered two of those, but that's okay. We'll set that one aside for my stash. Next up, we have the Brainstorm Sticky Notes. And this one features four circles. These are kind of hard to read here. This one is New Ideas, Current Thoughts, Important Tasks, and On Hold. And you can put the date up here. 
Next up we have just some plain sticky notes, but they are in the color Ash. I feel like that adds just a little something to my planner other than just a plain white sticky note. And I really enjoy that Ash color. And then lastly, we have these Memo sticky notes. And these just feature, you know, the memo and the date and then a nice open grid section. So let me show you how I plan to use these in my current setup. So hopefully my 2023 planner stack video has launched, but if not, um, this is my main planner, my standard size traveler's notebook for the year. And again, I just picked these up to mark specific pages in my planner when I need them. And then what I wanted to show you was this inbox card that I made. Um, I was really wanting like the um, aesthetic or vibe of a minimalist ring bound planner or disc bound planner. And they have tons of these on the market, just dividers for those types of setups but I wasn't finding what I wanted for a standard size traveler's notebook. So I took one of my A5 size dividers and trimmed it down. I have a reel up on Instagram. I'm happy place planning over there as well. If you want to check out how I did that, but this is what I have on there um, right now. And that's just these post-it notes that I had in my stash, obviously before this order arrived. So what I think I'm going to do is remove the message and the to-do and just freshen things up a little bit with some of these other post-it notes. I definitely want a spot for just some blank post-it notes. Um, this, these were in the ash color and oh, I might put just a couple of these brainstorm post-its. I definitely want a large section of these daily meal plans so I'm going to put that on this inbox insert dashboard, whatever you want to call it. And then I think I'm going to also add, if it will fit, some reminder sticky notes. So we will do the reminder and the meals here. And then let's see if we have room on the back for, I'm having a feeling only two are gonna fit. So I'm gonna save these uh, memo grids for later when I feel like refreshing things a little bit and we'll put the brainstorm and the plain post-its on the back here. You'll also see that I have these transparent um, small squares these were in my stash already from cloth and paper, and I'll show you how I am utilizing those here in just a minute. Then I'm gonna take just a few of these spotlight page flags in the dark black color and add those to the top there. Okay, so I'm gonna add all of these to my current stash here. I need to get that organized. Um, but let's take a look at some of these in action. Okay, so in my traveler's notebook, I showed this in my setup video. It is a social media planner. And over here, I have just the YouTube videos after I schedule them. Um, it's not really a place for me to plan. I'm kind of going with the flow. But once I have them filmed, edited, and scheduled, I put them over here. And then I don't know how this is going to show up on camera. But you can see this pink flag here it says two weeks. And then I have that bluish color one down here that says this week. So I move these every week. Um, this is the current week. And then I move this one to two weeks. And then what I'm doing is tracking how many views I have on a specific video at the two week mark and then the one month mark. So this just shows me this week, two weeks ago, I posted the Coco Daisy unboxing for January and I put that over here. I had 463 views on that video at the two week mark. And then I had my weekly plan with me on Thursday 
and that particular video had 433 views. And then at the end of the month, um, well, actually it's like the beginning of the month. So on January 2nd, that will be the one month mark in my mind for December 2nd. And I'll go back and put my um, one month views for that video. And then on January 5th, I will put the one month views for this video. So that's how I'm using these clear little post-its from cloth and paper. And I like that I can still see through them for this particular purpose at least. I do have another one of those little um, page markers made that says today. And I did have a paper clip and it was already denting my insert, which really kind of annoys me. So um, I made this for the month view and it doesn't have anything on it, but this also makes a really good pencil board in case I need um, something a little bit more firm to write on on my paper. And then my inbox section is in this lined insert from the Traveler's Company. I keep this inbox um, right here inside the insert. So when I sit down to plan, I typically pull this out and then I have um, all my post-it notes handy. This is just a lined insert and it has all sorts of personal information on it. Um, let me see here. I just started a new page. I'm trying to measure a very specific length for some new curtains, but anything from my home that I'm working on is going to go on this page. I have everything in this book from meal plan ideas to passwords, um, to random sticky notes, things I need to log when I get back to work and that sort of thing. So this little guy stays right here at the front of that insert. And I just love how it kind of adds a tab, which is kind of hard to do in a traveler's notebook, at least a little bit more difficult than it is in like a ring bound or disc bound system. So that is the cloth and paper haul and how I'm gonna be using those sticky notes. Let's do a closer look at these ink pens and some pen testing. And for today, we're gonna just do the pen testing right here on their sticky notes. First up, we have this white ink pen. It is a 0.5 nib. Um, it doesn't really have a name in English on it. This is a gel ink. And I really like that barrel. It's very comfortable to hold and I have a heavy hand and I kind of grip my pen pretty tight. So that is a win. I me. actually found my invoice and looked a little bit closer at it over here off to the side. This is the Hesu Soft Grip gel pen in white, and I'll put the name of the ink pens in the description below. That way, if you wanna grab them, you can do so. All right, next up, we have two of these little mini dot um, marker situations here. These are called the Maru liners. I got one in camel and one in olive, and they have a tip kind of like the Zig Clean Color Dot Markers. Um, obviously a shorter barrel. So here's a standard size pen. You can see it is a little bit shorter, which I think is absolutely adorable. And it does make a very fine, um, not fine, um, depending on how hard you press, I guess, is how big the dots are. Um, but it is a softer color. It's not something that's going to be overpowering. So we have the camel and the olive, really like those. And then last up, we have this um, zebra brush pen. I am um, very inexperienced with brush ink pens. But once again, I went through my stash and did not have any brush pen, so I thought, why not grab one while I'm placing my order to have one to maybe try to enhance my uh, repertoire of handwriting and try some brush lettering, maybe, possibly, at some time in 2023. All right, so that is all of the writing utensils that I purchased. I really love this gel ink pen. Um, it 
rides very nicely. I might have to end up switching to that. And then I'm definitely gonna be putting these um, dot markers into my planner um, bag for on the go. And I'll probably keep the zebra brush pen here at home until I can sit down at my desk and give it a real go. All right, that's my cloth and paper haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for joining me. You know I appreciate you all being here. If you have any questions that you think I can answer, um, if I didn't cover anything well enough, I'd be happy to answer if you drop that comment or question in the comment section below. Bye guys, have a great day.